Hello everyone, Zabrick here, back with another video, and today we will be doing a guide on Project JoJo. So, this guide will be based on the fusions, and uh, I'm going to try to make this a quick, but, you know, pretty thorough guide. First of all, we're going to talk about where Jotaro is located at. So, Jotaro is located behind this schoolhouse. Um, if you're at middle, you can just walk down this old narrow, like, it's down the longest road, basically, here. And, uh, if you see, like, a little, like, lit up thing like this, like, I don't know if you can see that, but if you're in the distance, you should be able to see that behind the tree. If you see this, go to it, then you should be able to see this. And then if you go behind it, there will be a Jotaro. So now let's just get over there. And um, yeah, let's just start off with that as our base topic for the uh, guide. So now we've made to Jotaro. Now since I've cleared all the Jotaro's quests, I'm going to have to put on a picture of the Trello on screen. So first of all... For Jotaro now, I mean, I mean, you could say second of all, but either way, it works. Jotaro is an NPC that is being found behind the schoolhouse. Upon talking to him, you can receive the following quests. Now, these are the quests for him. You can read them yourself, possibly read them, but uh, I'm going to say them right now. And, uh, yeah. Quest 1 is Q5 if you start platinum users. They are Star Platinum Prime users, but technically they are the uh, level of strength as a normal Star Platinum user but they're just npcs of course that attack you and stuff and um they are located in italy so you will need to be able to be in a notorious big and get the uh italy ticket to be able to do that quest two obtain and give a red object to tutorial the note here please remember this and please don't get mad at me if this happens to you because you should be listening to this upon receiving a red aja upon any means the red aja would disappear from your inventory so if i were to pick up a red aja on the ground and I'm on quest 2. Like, if I finish quest 1, talk to Jotaro, then now I'm on quest 2. If I pick up Red Aja, it immediately just disappears, or it just disappears, something like that. That means that Jotaro got it. And then I can walk to Jotaro, and he will have done the quest for me. He, he will have obviously done the quest. Like, done. Yeah, like that. Pretty easy. So, that's um that's it. That's that's kind of it. So, now, quest 3. Kill 10 evil stone free users. Stone free users are located in Moria Town. Obviously, the normal town now. Stone for users are located over here. You're located right behind the school. I mean, not right behind, but near the school, you could say. So, they're located behind, like, near the school. Like, kind of, you go behind it if you want, and then go it, but you can just go around. I mean, either, either way it works. But anyways, here we go. Now, I'll just show you how they're strong they are. I mean, this is, these are my stats. This isn't, this isn't the same that you should use to fight them um, if you're a starter, because you might not have them. But, this is what you should just do when you're fighting them, you know. I mean, you can't get ranged if you want, but that's not what I'll do, because I don't think I'll die, at least. I don't, I don't think so, at least, but, yep, this is what they are. They do about a good amount of damage. They do a pretty good amount of damage when they hit you with the fast hits. And, uh, you probably can't sit out of their hits, so try not to get hit by them, or you're going to get clapped if you don't get enough endurance, and, I mean, that's all I got to say for that one. So, yeah, that is Jotaro Kujo's, um, I think, fourth quest? No, that's the third quest. So, now quest four. You will have talked to Jotaro after you did the quest 3. Quest 4, obtain and give a vampire mask to Jotaro. So I gave a vampire mask. Now, it might not disappear from my inventory and give it to Jotaro. I think I actually have to talk to Jotaro. Because it says give a vampire mask to Jotaro. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know which one I did. But still, just do that. Okay, if it does disappear, you know what happened. You Jotaro got it then. If it didn't disappear, then you have to talk to Jotaro. And boom. Now, quest 5. The hardest part, probably. Kill Diablo. Upon completion of all five quests, you read the the fusion mask. Now, going back to Diavolo now. Diavolo is located in Italy, and he has a random spawn time. So does Dio, but we're not talking about Dio right now. Dio has a random spawn time, but anyways, Diavolo. He has a random spawn time. And, uh, I just want to say something. People get confused when they say, um, like in the part of the quest when Jotaro is talking to you. He's like saying, the mastermind stuff, the mastermind, blah, 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 all this stuff. The mastermind is Diablo, so basically he's telling you to kill Diablo, and uh, that's kind of it for that one. So, yeah, that is how you do the quest five. And uh, like I'm saying, upon completion of all five quests, you reach with the fusion mask. Fusion mask is in my hand now. Fusion masks are slightly different than normal auto masks. Auto masks have like a actual, like these have actual oxygen, but uh, fusion masks, like you know, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. I mean, auto masks. They're different. They're really much different than this. I mean, I can't fuse. I'm already fused, and it wouldn't do anything if I click it anyways. But yeah, that's how it is. And you can't get this to other people, by the way. Just want to say that. But uh, if I were to, by the way, like uh, try to 
I mean, if you see somebody when work, I have actually like do a whole set of instructions we'll talk about later. We'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, with this fusion mask, you were able to fuse. But you would need another item, which is the first part, which we'll talk about slightly later, okay? And uh, Aja mask has like a kind of printed look on it, like it's basically the same color as the actual. Basically, like the vampire mask. Like I, I can't say it too much. It's kind of like CJ looking. I don't know, but yeah, that's all I can say about it. So that is the tar quests. Now, uh, we'll get rid of the notes. Other, there's only a 50% chance that fusion mask will work. And note two, if you have a vampire mask and a red Aja in your inventory, at the same time talking to Jotaro, he will instead make an Aja mask. Now, for that to happen, you need to actually like actually like kind of like have um uh done all the quests i think for Jotaro. i think you have to do all the quests first but yeah that's pretty cool note so yeah remember that please don't gotta look for Ash mask make one yourself okay i think okay okay th thank you games for listening for this part so yeah that will do be done with this part of the video so uh editors i will just uh i guess cut to the other part of the video and uh yeah, it'll be like one second for you guys. It'll be uh, about maybe like, I don't know, maybe probably a long time for me because I gotta edit the video first. So, see ya. So, now we're in the second part of the video, the course part. So, I'll put a picture of the course part on the screen. That's what it looks like now. This is not a course part. This is a worthiness bone. I can click it like that. You can't click for You can't click course part like this. But, this is an example. So, now the course part. Um, this, so we're not talking about blessings today, okay? We're talking about fusion, so we're gonna go into blessings in another video, another guide, but, uh, anyways, fusion. Fusion right now. So, uh, basically, let's say if I were to drop a, um, if I were to drop a, I guess, a maybe a course part, yeah, a course part, that's what we're talking about, of course. So, if, if I were to drop a course part down on the ground, uh, for example, like for when you get on the screen, it's not exactly like the one right now, because that's, that's not even a course part. There's not a course part on the ground, it's just a bone, but. Basically, I just, of course, I need a person, okay, and I have a fusion mask, I, I don't use it yet, but, you know, drop it down on the ground, and, um, uh, basically, what you could do, you could just drop it, and then, like, you just drop it, and you use fusion mask as fast as possible, that could work, too, I think, that's called force fusion, uh, I don't think it's bannable, I'm not sure, please, just add in before you do this, because I'm not 100% sure about these facts, you know, but, uh, yeah, if I drop it on the ground, then get near. Both of us have to be near it. We don't have to be super near. Like you know, I think I think it needs to be this least this, this far, which is about maybe I'd say around. I guess from here, from my from where my character is to about here, to about where this my my cursor is. So about about there is a good spot, I guess you could say. But uh, now we're gonna get to uh, more about the course part. So. Corpus part fusion is key in actually getting a big stand. I mean, that's how I got this stand. This so I didn't, I didn't really get the stand this way. I, I fused for it. I mean, I, I mean, I, I traded for. It. I, I won. I won a stand tournament. Then traded. I mean, golden wallet because that's kind of bragging. With so, I didn't actually like fuse to get this. Stand. I just traded for it. But either way, the person who gave me this had to fuse. And how do you fuse? Well, that's that's kind of what we're talking about in this video. I mean, so yeah. And, uh, another thing I want to see right, right before, um, we end the course part far. Because not ending soon, but still. Um, one thing I want to say is that you want to try not, if you're going to do force fusion, you want to try not to let the other person pick up, the person you're trying to force fuse with, pick up the actual course part. Because if they do that, then they're like, okay, okay, you're trying to force fuse, huh? They're probably going to put you in the chaos list. Like, they're probably going to go to the disc, like, if they have a gang, they're going to put you on your kill on site list. And you're going to be forever hunted for that person. Like, they're going to probably, like, announce it. And, like, they're going to say, here, I remember you're supposed to be Arcane's person. He was trying to force fuse with me. But, um, he's not even say like, just me. He might just lie to the whole community and just say, he was trying to force fuse with my teammates and also me. So, please run. We got now, of course, for us out of it. But still, please run away from him uh, if you have bad sand. And if you do have a good sand, then just still attack them and uh, kill them on site. So, yeah, just kind of all I can say about that. I mean, that was kind of cringy, not going to lie, and I can't fix the fact that I'm cringy. Either way, moving on. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say really quite the course part. Is there anything that I missed? I'm sorry, okay? No, actually, there is something I missed. So, if you have more worthiness and you try to fuse, um, you have a higher chance of succeeding. Well, actually, I'm not sure if it's 100 like that, but it's, it's, it's really, it's just a really big process. I mean, that's why told, someone told me to do an actual video on this, okay? So, just, I guess you can't really have more, uh, I mean, you can get more boys if you want, but I don't think it will be some chance. Just using the future of my course, but we're going to have 50% chance, I mean, merge the player of your choice nearby, taking hold of the aspect of this standard, but being peaceful, um, and successful, and otherwise, if you fail, you'll be left with an empty fusion mask that can be refilled by obtaining red Aja and talking to the draw once again. So, uh, yeah, if you do fail to fuse, because um, of a 50% chance, it doesn't work. 
Um, if it doesn't work, then you want to talk to Joe Taro with the red option in your inventory. And uh, he repaired your fusion mask. It's just an empty fusion mask, but I have a full one right now, of course. But uh, yeah, that's easy enough for the court part part. Um, I said that too many times, that part a lot right there. But uh, anyways, enough of the cringe. I hope you all enjoyed this part of the video. I'll see you in the uh, next part. It'll only be one second for you. And probably about, I don't know, maybe one hour for me. I don't know. It's like 3, it's like 3 a.m. right now. Or, well, it's 4 a.m. now, but I don't know. Sleepy. No. See you See you like one second. Okay, so now you've made it to the part three of this video. So, uh, this is, uh, Star Platinum, and, uh, which is right on screen. So, base and sub. A fusion base is the, of course, the main stand. And, uh, this, uh, fusion sub is just the sub, I guess. I mean, that's, that your stand will look like the base. And part of your stand will look like a sub. This like, the, like... Like part of it will look like a little bit of it will look like twenty five like seventy five percent of it like hundred percent of your stand like let's say you have Star Platinum Prime, hundred it's hundred percent Star Platinum Prime okay, and then uh, you have Majestic Red. Uh, add that together and it looks really weird. I guess you could say it looks like almost like the eagle. And uh, basically what I'm saying is here, I'm saying that all it all it means is that um. The Magician Red, or in this case, yeah, in this case, the Magician Red wouldn't be very, um, like much of, like, a main thing. It'd be, a, like, a small factor in battle, and it's gonna help you a lot, though, but, yeah, that's all can we say. It's just really, really, really difficult to, to actually explain. Um, it's easy to learn on our own, to be honest, probably, but still, I'm making this video anyways, okay? So, now let's get to the list, okay? Let's let's, let's see the list, alright? So, um, Fusion Divinities. If I were to fuse, um, Star Platinum Prime, okay, as the base, as the base, okay, as the base with Golden Experience Requiem, um, Golden Experience Requiem's fusion ability, which is the sub, okay, the sub ability, it turns your basic punches into GR punches, and plus granted you return to zero. So, what that means is, basically, I guess, you get, um, I mean, percent damage punches, which is secret punches. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's percent damage, I'm not sure, but you just get that, and that's at your sub. All your moves, you have all your normal Star and Prime moves, okay? But you get an extra move, which is the U move. And that U move is the return to zero. And yes, it turns the basic punches into your punches. You cannot enable it off or on. It's just like that now, because they refused to get her. That is a passive with it, okay? So now, um, now we're talking about, uh, all the fusion abilities now. Okay, that's gonna take a long time to get to. But uh, here we go. Let's take this off screen now, I guess. Because why not? Um, I guess we might as well just, while we're, um, while we're, while we're at it, um, uh, I guess I just want to talk about fusion abilities, um, use. And why you should fuse off. Um, the reason why you should fuse is because it means it makes you stand better. That's, that's okay, that's, that's all. Now. Fusion abilities, start off part three. Part three turns basically melee into strong melee. Two times melee plus giving super aura punch. Magician red basically melee becomes fire melee, added in burning damage. T projectiles, silver chariot, it just gives your stand silver chariot sword. Hero for green gives you emerald splash to your stand as your fusion move. Cream, all your close original attacks deal void damage. Osiris, it just grants you the soul chip, but it decreases your base damage by 1.5 times. The world, and it allows your stand to use time stop. Crazy Diamond, uh, which is part 4, now we're in part 4, okay, we're in part 4, we just got to part 4 when I said Crazy Diamond. Crazy Diamond, turns off projectiles and home projectiles. This is OP fusion which people use a lot. The Hand, grants your eraser wipe. Echoes, all damage to the opponent will create a 3 freeze effect on them. Star Platinum, and this is part 4 of Star Platinum, okay, the weaker one basically. Turns basic melee into strong melee. Turns melee damage plus gives bearing shot. Heaven's door gives open book to move your stand, so you can just grab them and it stuns them. Highway star, all attacks get life steal. So basically, it's not really useful because you get vampire basically in a way. Killer queen, all projectiles become explosive plus. plus <laughs> projectiles become explosive plus granting the primary bomb. Explosive damage is 66% of the projectile's base damage. Part 5. Golden Experience Requiem turns basic punches into GR punches, plus granting turns zero. Sticky Fingers grants the head removing head detachment ability. Herbal Haze basic punches have a chance to become Bull Punch, plus granting the Bull Clendon. Bull, I mean Moody Blues gives your dissonant stand the ability to self rewind. 
Black Sabbath. Ability to teleport behind players closest to your circle. Cursor. Spice Girl. Cancer ability. Rubber Shield. King Crimson. Allows you to stand the time race. Cherry Requiem. Gives you the sleep aura. Part 6. Stone Free. Grants to each other. Kiss. All projects are duplicated three times and offset plus granting self arm duplication. Weather Report. Grants the ability of Tornado Projection. Gary Down. All damage dealt to dealt to an opponent becomes stored energy with the tar- within the target and releases releases on a de- on a delay similar to its barrage. Grants the ability of sand discs, which is white snake, but that's incomplete, so we don't talk about it a lot. Sea moon grants uh gravity gives ga- gravity push and basic punches turn into inversion punches. Main heaven grants the sand user the ability to universe reset plus absurdly fast attack speed passively. Now we're in part seven. This is where the big boy stands get here, and uh, this is where a lot of fusion here, fusion abilities here is actually pretty good. Tusk basic punches become tusk punches to OP. Um, which, well, it was nerfed, but tusk punches plus fingernail you know, uh, cannon. Ball breaker gives grants infinite rotation, p- making all damage AOE transfer. The four C gives the ability to use dimensional flag. Which allows you to change dimensions, and you can't get hit in there unless it's a different sense that's handy, like Cusk or G.E.R. Poku no Rhythm will Kidekure. Grants to keep on toss. The World of the Universe gives basic, turns basic melee into piercing melee. Piercing melee is just auto aim melee, basically, and I think it's stronger too, I'm not sure. And it gives you knives as well, so I guess it's the next barrage, or just normal knives. Part 8. Soft and Wet turns basic punches into level punches, plus granting bubble trap. Pin the Queen Alternate Universe. Grants the ability of mini sheer heart attack. Non cannon. Stand. Symphony of Destruction. Grants radioactive tremor that pulls in targets and explodes. This is actually pretty good now because uh, Symphony of Destruction was buffed um, in cannon nerf in a way. It's lower, but there's more damage now. Rumble. Gives the ability of slam dunk. Bro. Oh my god. You can go up on people with it. I'm just saying. White Throw Bidding. Grants the ability of Ionic Bond. Star Platinum over Heaven. Basic melee becomes heavily melee, plus strengthening Star Blast. The World of Raven. Basic melee becomes heavy melee, plus granting mini Star Volley. Star Spangled Banner. This is actually pretty good now. So, and we just made it too, like, couple cool. days ago, I don't, hours ago, I don't know. Allows you to use Second Amendment, which is a big, I would say it, but uh, I can't really say it sometimes because it's not actually that big. But it's, it's a pretty big, pretty big uh, bullet. And uh, yeah, press U to use fusion abilities, and other fusion abilities are granted as a passive to your current stand. You cannot level fusion stands if they are past stand level 10. And that is all we have for the fusion abilities. Now, um, I'm not sure if there's anything that I've missed. If there's anything that I have missed, Please tell me in the comment section down below. This will actually be the end of the video. And uh, before we end the video, I just want to say, I'm not good with doing showcases apparently, okay? I'm just going to say that right now. So I'm going to start doing guides guides more. And of course, I'm going to still do showcases. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing guides a lot more probably. And uh, yeah, uh, it took a while to do this. Maybe about a week to edit it. I mean, make it and edit it. But uh, if I put enough effort in, of course, I can make a video. Because, you know, I try to be y'all's YouTube. I, f- I try to be y'all's, you know, yeah, well, favorite YouTuber, which doesn't really work. But still, I, I try, okay? I try. I try to try. But uh, I thank you all that have been with my channel for a long time. Thank you all a lot. And uh, I'll see you until next time on the next video. Zabrick out.